Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. Woo, right? Friday. <laughs> it's another for lychee Friday. I'm still rubbing my lotion in my hands. How is everybody doing? It's the first Friday in October in Michigan anyway. It's a beautiful, sunny, fabulous fall day. Hello, Miss Susan, welcome. I wonder what your weather's like down in Florida. Probably not as cold as it is here. Having a little trouble with my heat, actually, so I've got the heating man coming uh, this afternoon to check out what's going on with the furnace. Um, one of these days it's gonna die and I'm gonna have to get a new one and I'm hoping today is not the day he tells me that. Hello, Susan, or uh, Philomena, hello, hello. Oh, and thank you for the share already, Susan. I love that. You guys, thank you so much. Uh, hey, Susie, welcome. So yeah, Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. Oh, sunny but rainy. Isn't that weird? Hello, Teresa. Hello, hello. Hi, Philomena. You guys are all awesome. I'm so glad you all can join me today. So, and if there's anybody new to Facebook Live today, welcome to you as well. I generally go live every Friday right here on our Facebook group, Hey Diana, um, at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. I will say I have had... Um, birthday fun this month where I've been kind of off and out and about a little bit more than usual. So I've missed a couple of Fridays this month and I'm already looking ahead to October. Um, I think there's one Friday, we'll worry about that later that I'm gonna miss and another one for our weekend retreat. I might do it on Thursday instead, but I'll keep you posted on that. Hello, Kathy, welcome and good morning. She's saying good morning, ladies. So yes, it's awesome to have everybody here. So we are gonna do some fun, fun stuff today. We are featuring the uh, Tag Buffet stamp set. This is the um, stamp set that I picked this week as our product of the week. So we are gonna make some awesome projects with. This is such a cute stamp set. So they've got some fun kind of holiday imagery in here. Hey, Nikki, welcome. So we've got, um, what is that? Like a bulb, right? A Christmas bulb. We've got the stocking and then some other greenery, the little um, berries and the holly and then great sentiments too. And of course, I love the fonts are always is my favorite and this is another beautiful cursive scrolly font right we've got uh let's see oh my Meyer prescription is ready to pick up seriously I'm getting that text right now sorry I had to swipe that away so we've got uh, Merry Christmas right here um tis the season oh I love this the to and from and I want to show you guys because they're actually bigger usually they're really little and I don't write that tiny I write pretty big so I love can you guys kind of see on the sheet here there's the two so you kind of get the size and there's the from down there. So that's actual size. So it's bigger than what they're showing, um, a little bit bigger. Anyway, that's still pretty good size right there, but I love, I'm definitely gonna be using that to and from on Christmas tags this year. What else do we have? Ooh, with love for you, that's sweet, huh? And Mary, hello, welcome, so glad you can be here. And then this is the last one. I have to read this and kind of turn it so you guys can all see it and I can read it too. We have, uh, may the good times of today become the cherished memories of tomorrow. Wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness. So that's that long sentiment right there. So a great stamp set. I'm gonna show you some fun projects today and I'm gonna get your wheels turning to be able to think of lots of other awesome ideas, um, things that you can do with the Tag Buffet stamp set. And just so you know, uh, after Facebook Live, I'll get everything uploaded. So hop over to my blog this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K. So gatheringinspiration.com. I will have all of the item codes for everything that we used on the projects that we're gonna make later on Facebook Live. I'll give you the dimensions, the colors, everything you need to know to make them yourself and be able to order. If you don't have what you need, you can order uh, to get what you need to make them yourself. So watch for that this afternoon. I also include links, um, I, I'm always like pointing, right? So above the Facebook Live video, there'll be lots of links after we get done here um, to my blog, to the blog post. Um, to shop, to lots of other things. So keep that in mind. So hello, Tracy. Yay, so many fun people are on here today. I love, it's so like kind of invigorating to see like the names pop up on the live too, especially since I wasn't able to go live last week. I've been missing you guys all, so I'm super happy to be back and um, here with you stamping and playing and ready to have some fun, right? So, okay, you know me, I have to check my notes though because I can't remember anything these days. You know, now that I'm 50, I have like even more of an excuse than I did before. Four, right um, so okay so where is that flyer we have have you guys heard about this um, designer series paper sales started yesterday October 1st so I'm going to show you I printed the flyer in color so you kind of get um, a good so this is actually the playing with patterns designer series paper so that is one of the beautiful packs I have to tell you guys they picked 
many, many, many awesome packs of paper to include in this designer series paper sale. So I'm gonna try to kind of zoom in. I was originally gonna show you guys each of the packs of the paper, and then I thought, oh, that is gonna, I don't even know if I have them all, and that might take forever. So hopefully you guys get a little bit of an idea. So we have the Artistry Blooms paper right here. Uh, also, everything is 15% off the whole month, okay? Next we have, this is from the holiday catalog, the Tis the Season. Um, holiday designer series paper. Hey, Lynn. Hello. 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 Welcome. Then we have this is the forever greenery. So this one and this one are in the annual catalog. This one's in the holiday catalog. So they jumped around. They've got different options for us. Oh, I love this point. I think it's called yeah, point set up place designer series paper. Thank you for the share Tracy in Maine. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My other favorite, we're going to be playing with this today, this is called the Trimming the Town Designer Series Paper, and then the Plaid Tidings, which has been super, super popular, another one. Those are both, actually all three of those are from the Holiday Catalog. Yeah. So hello, Dawn. Welcome. Glad you can be here with us also. Okay, so there's even more. We have nine more packs of Designer Series Paper. So we have, oh, the Twal Tidings Designer Series Paper. That's a carryover from last year. We played with that a lot last year as well, and it's back in the holiday catalog this year. Then this one is the um, Peony Garden Designer Series Paper and the Whale of a Good Time. Yep, Whale of a Time Designer Series Paper. Down here we have the, oh, the Heartwarming Hugs. Very traditional red and green um, holiday Designer Series Paper. It is beautiful. The catalog does not do that paper justice, I don't think. And then the Halloween, what is it called? The Magic in the Night Halloween Designer Series Paper as well as the is it Snowflake? Yeah, Snowflake Splendor, the beautiful blues. I featured that one a couple weeks ago as our product of the week. Lastly, we have the In Good Taste Designer Series Paper. That's that huge pack of paper. You get like twice as many sheets as you normally would, and that's also 15% off. The Playing With Patterns Designer Series Paper. That was the big banner on the top of the other flyer. And then the Playful Pets Designer Series Paper. So look at all of that paper. It's all... 15% off, right? So you guys kind of, I know it's backwards, but at least you get the idea. You know all the packs of paper that are on sale all month long, right? So that's awesome, 15% off of all of that fabulous paper. Who, I know people are like, oh, I don't need any more paper. Of course you need more paper. Oh my gosh, that paper that you have that you've been hoarding and you loved, it's not quite as fabulous anymore. You need new paper and then that'll be the fabulous paper. That is my one recommendation to you because I fell into that trap myself was I thought, oh, my paper's so beautiful. I can't cut into it. I can't use it. But it does lose its luster after a while. So get in there, cut it up, use it, have fun, play with it because there's always more fabulous paper uh, down the pike, right? Coming along um, for you to play with next. So keep that in mind, all right? Okay, what else do we have going on? Oh, Oh, okay, I got another birthday card I have to show you. Maria, Miss Maria Warren down in Canton, not Ohio, because that's a famous thing, right? Canton, Michigan, actually, right kind of near Ann Arbor, which is a favorite spot for me. She um, sent me this cute, don't you love? It's like a pie, right? I have not um, done that yet. I think that's so cute. And I'm trying to remember which embossing folder this is. I'm honestly not sure if it's still available, but you could kind of do something similar. But doesn't it look like the like pie crust, right? And then even the little tin around there too with the fun um, plaid kind of gingham paper also with the happy birthday and she just writes um, on the inside wishing you every happiness this special day we will bring Amy I hope you enjoy your birthday and do something fun love Maria so Maria I did I did do something fun we went to Mackinac Island which was awesome um, so thank you thank you for that sweet birthday card yeah I, I love you guys were spoiling me with all the fun birthday cards so thank you very much um okay let's see oh this is what else i want to show you guys so actually kind of in keeping with my favorite that um what is it called i'm gonna draw a blank on the name yeah the trimming the town designer series paper we made a couple of hey sally uh make and takes at our customer appreciation event that was like I guess it was two weeks ago now. It feels like not that long ago. Um, but anyway, we had a couple of make and takes and one of them featured the Trimming the Town Designer Series paper. So I have to show you because this paper's so cute. Oh, thank you, Diana, for the share. I really appreciate that. I love uh, getting getting us out there to share with more um, people, right? So thank you, thank you. And hey, Rosemary, welcome. So glad you can be here. 
So yes, the trimming the town, isn't this so cute? Lots of fun little houses, um, churches, um, just fun buildings on there too, right? So, and I love this color combination. This is Poppy Parade, and then Misty Moonlight is the card base. You can kind of see there, right? With um, a sentiment from, oh, I don't have that stamp set right here handy. It's the Snowflake, Snowflake stamp set, whatever, Snowflake Splendor maybe. And it says, in the coldest moments of the year, my heart is warm because you're near. So awesome sentiment too, right? And then we use a couple of the snowflake um, sequins on there also. The, and these are adhesive backs, so you just like pull them off the little sheet, stick them on, and they stick right on there for you. So that was one of our make and takes at our customer appreciation event. And then my favorite, I am absolutely in love with all of the fall products in our um, holiday catalog. So this is one of the um, stitched leaves dies. Can you see? I just... I love that stitching and I have kind of a fun story. So this is one of the celebration tidings um, um, dies, um, the celebration label dies, I think they are. So my son and daughter, so Cade and Lily were both helping me make, um, I'll show you these cute treats, these little treats I made for everybody that came to customer appreciation event. So you guys have seen these, right? I modified this and made it a little bit smaller. I used the next smallest die in the um, Celebration Labels dies, but I was having my son, Cade, help me cut. So you can kind of see like this piece right here. And he accidentally cut too small. So there's that one there. So he cut all of this size instead of this size that I needed for these treats. Let me tell you, I was not a happy camper. I made him redo all of the die cutting. He actually had to go to the studio to get more cardstock because I had run out of cardstock here and I had a few more sheets there so that he could um, finish up. But so then I had all of these that were cut too small. And I was like, well, what am I going to do with those? So I was like, hey, we're putting them on the make -a So that's kind of how this started with that big block, um, big label on the back there. And then we just added our little thank you with some stamping and then that awesome stitched leaf and some of the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper. So those were our make and takes. And like I said, these were the cute little happy fall y'all treats <laughs> that I made everybody. And these actually work a little bit better. Um, the other ones were bigger. This one fits like a little Hershey bar. You can kind of see it fits just about perfectly. And I was actually a little bit happier with how size wise these went, right? Because that fit in there just right. The other ones were a little bit longer. And so I stuck a couple of Hershey bar or Kit Kat bars in there. And those were good too, because they kind of stuck up out of here, which was kind of cute to see. Um, but yeah, so I cannot stop making these treats basically. I mean, you probably see them for Christmas time, for Valentine's Day, for Easter. I think they're just the cutest little treats ever. And I demonstrated these. Go back, um, if you go to YouTube, you'll see um, about the celebration labels and celebration tiding uh, bundle when I featured that as our product of the week. I demonstrated how you make these little things on there. So you can learn how to make them too. They're so easy, so cute, so fun. Love, love, love them. Okay, scooting that stuff out of the way. What else do I wanna show you guys? Let's see, let me check my notes. <laughs> Roseanne, hello. Rosemary and Roseanne are both on here like back to back, so that's fun. I'm like, ooh, am I getting myself confused? I did see different two roses, right? Um, okay, I think, let's see, we are ready. Let's do our first drawing. So I know some of you guys have already shared the video, which I love. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love your comments, your likes, and your loves. Don't give me like downer faces though. I don't like those, right? And I love you sharing the video. So thank you. It's a huge part of what helps kind of keep me going and reaching more people is the likes and comments and shares of the video. So I truly appreciate that. Donna, hello, welcome. Glad you can be here with us. So we are gonna do our first drawing right now. Where is that? Oh, here it is. It was like sideways, so I couldn't see it. You know how that happens like when you're crafting? Where are the dimensionals is usually the thing that happens, right? And they're like right in front of your face, but they're white and like, I don't know, covered up by other stuff. That was what happened with this. It was like down on the table like this that I couldn't, so I couldn't see it, right? So anyway, we are giving away blah, 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 blah. I'm just excited. I'm so excited to be back here. Okay, so this is the Mint Macaron, the Basket Weave Ribbon. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see because it's a beautiful... I don't have any examples today with that ribbon. Bummer, I wish I did. Anyway, it's a beautiful, this is part of the um, 
one of the ribbon combo packs. So this mint macaron ribbon is what we're giving away. And how do you get your name in the drawing, right? You share the Facebook Live video. So this one that I'm doing right now, share, 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 share until next Thursday night when I prep for the next Facebook Live. Your name will be in here. I'll tell you what you're gonna win in just a sec for next week, right? What you could get your chance to win. You also, if you have not signed up for my email list, which is my number one best way to keep you guys updated on everything that's going on with my Stampin' Up! business, with um, promotions that Stampin' Up! is doing, events, all of that good stuff. Hello, Jane. Welcome, welcome. So sign up for my email list if you haven't done that. I always include a link again at the top of this video too. There's always a link right there to sign up for my email list if you haven't done that yet, okay? So names are in here. Sharing the video, signing up for my email list chance to win the mint macaron ribbon okay we are shaking these names around i've got them in my i love my little stampin up bag my little trash bag here right okay so i feel a couple of them stuck together so i gotta get those pulled apart so everybody gets a fair chance at winning and okay one name one name one name in my hand and it is miss philomena <laughs> congratulations philomena you are the proud new winner owner of the mint macaron ribbon. So I will get that ribbon sent out to you, ma'am. Okay, I gotta dump those out to get ready for the next drawing that we will do in just a few moments. All right, put that back there. So now, next week, your name, hey Barb, hello, welcome, will be in the drawing. Again, if you share the Facebook Live video as many times as you share, that's how many times your name goes in that drawing. So if you share 10 times, your name goes in the drawing 10 times. And if you sign up for my email list, if you haven't done that yet. So this week or next week, we will be giving away the beautiful, these are the star designer elements. And these are a beautiful, um, like kind of a bronze star adhesive back though right so they're super easy to work with we will be giving these away you're welcome philomena i'll be giving these away on next friday's facebook live okay all right scoot those out of the way i'm just always trying to stay organized right so you guys we ended um stamping up our year just ended on tuesday september 30th we ended with a bang in the Inkspired Stampers group, okay? I have to give huge shout outs, huge congratulations to the following gals that are part of my team that promoted, got to qualified recruit, and so on. So first of all, we have, and I, gotta, I, gotta, I have a list here, okay? So Miss Stacy Decker and Pam Facting both reached what's considered qualified recruit status, which is me means after they bought the starter kit, once they get to their first $900 in sales, they get to qualified recruit status and both Stacy and Pam did that uh, like at the end hour like on September 29th and 30th they both got there so they both receive a $25 shopping spree from me as a congratulations for reaching qualified recruit then we had Tracy Claire reach bronze elite which is like the huge everybody wants to get to bronze elite because that's at $1,800 in sales and this is a rolling 12 month number so they only look back for 12 months so once you've had the starter kit for 13 months that last month kind of drops off so keep that in mind it's always a 12 month so you got to keep up with things too right but Tracy did it she got to $1,800 in sales just bought the starter kit I think back during celebration so the best part for Tracy is now for the whole next year she gets 25% off of all of her orders instead of just 20% and that's true for anybody whenever you get to $1,800 in sales you basically earn the right to get 25% off of your orders or earn income 25% income on anything that you sell to others right she also receives a $50 shopping spree from me as a congratulations for promoting to bronze elite okay and then we have one more promotion to silver miss jamie sanders reached silver she promoted to silver status which means she had one recruit so she got one person uh to get the starter kit through her and she reached $3,600 in rolling 12 month sales, which I know when you first hear that sounds like a lot, but if you are reaching out to people, if maybe you're doing a class or an event, it's not as difficult as you think to get to and maintain that. That means she had, if you break it down, $300 a month in sales times 12 is $3,600. So as long as you keep that about $300 a month in sales, you can reach silver status also. And Stampin' Up! just made some changes to 
our um, kind of reward and recognition plan. So there are more exciting benefits when you get to silver than there used to be before and silver elite as well. So I've been communicating that with my team, all of my Inkspired stampers so that they know more great benefits when you increase um, your level in terms of promotion too. So congratulations to everybody. You guys rocked it out. We ended the year super duper strong. I was thrilled with the performance and kind of basically how everybody did. So we're off ready for like a fresh new start. October 1st is the beginning of our Stampin' Up! year and we are ready to rock and roll throughout this whole next year too. So congratulations ladies and if you are interested in becoming an Inspired Stamper that starter kit deal is always available. Always a great deal. Something that is just wonderful uh, to be a part of our group and get that awesome deal and get those discounts too right. So hey Sue welcome glad you can join us. So awesome 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 stuff right. Okay, now you guys, I want to do like the drum roll. Okay, we are going to draw for, and I have to show you guys mine because I haven't ordered it yet. But we, so part of my, thank you, Sue, part of my um, 50th birthday special, right, is to give away a new stamp and cut and emboss machine. Isn't it's just this fabulous, fabulous machine, right? So the sides fold up. I'm not going to do it now because I already have my um, plates and everything on there. But we are going to give away a stamp and cut and emboss machine now. Woo! -hoo! Woo! <laughs> All right. So you got your name in this drawing. I just put the names. Yep, I made sure I got them all. So if you ordered for every $50 order that you placed through me in September, so if you placed a $50 order, your name is in here once. If you placed a $100 order, your name is in here twice. If you did two $50 orders, your name is in here two different times for that. Or if you bought the starter kit through me, your name is also in this drawing to win the new stamp and cut and a boss machine. So here we go. I'm so excited. We got to shake these names around. And you guys, thank you so much for all of your orders. I truly appreciate your support. I That's what always keeps me going, right? Is, is um, basically the orders, right? That keeps keeps me plugging along and working hard. And as it's just a great um, benefit for that working hard, right? So, okay. Here we go. Who is the lucky winner of the new stamp and cotton emboss machine? I feel like we should have some music or something too. Okay, here we go. I kind of like, I'm afraid I want everyone to win. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. We have one name in our hand and it, oh, Miss Teresa, congratulations. Miss Teresa Hinchman is the proud new owner of a stamp and cut and emboss machine, or she will be. So I'm gonna get it ordered and shipped directly to you, Teresa. So congratulations and thank you for your orders. And, and as well, everyone else that ordered and bought the starter kit, I truly appreciate all of your business. So thank you, thank you very much. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Go Teresa, proud new owner of the Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine. All right, so dropping it back down a little bit now. <laughs> Next week, we're back to like regular, right? Regular, that was like the big birthday, the 50th birthday special. So next week, if you put an online order, and so now we're back to just $30. <laughs> you are, yay, OMG, thank you so much. She says, yes, awesome, congratulations. I'm very excited for you. I love that you're on here too. That makes it even more fun to like see like the, the uh, reaction like right away. So yes, and Diana, you're very sweet. She's congratulating probably Teresa and um, Philomena and then everyone that um, promoted in our Inkspired Stampers group because Diana is one of our Inkspired Stamper members as well. So yes, okay, so next week, if you put an online order in of at least $30, there's a new host code for October, it's already on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So you can grab it there. I'm going to show you in just a few minutes too um, what that host code is. But put your $30 order in. You're going to get the projects that I demonstrate in just a little bit. You also get the chance to win. What is it? This month is the new Wonderful Gems. These are the free embellishment that you can pick. Or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. This is that 16 project tutorial, new one for October. So you get to pick either one when you bump your order up to $50, right? You get the embellishment or the PDF tutorial. Um, and your name is going to go in the drawing to win. What are you going to win? This week, I love, this is the new spider, is it spider web or cobweb? Cobweb 3D embossing folder. I love, this is great for napkins. I think it's just so much fun. Uh, to do like a Halloween party and um, you can emboss napkins with that cool little 
cobweb or spider web embossing folder, okay? So that's what we will draw for on next Friday's Facebook Live. Someone will win that spider, no, it's cobweb, cobweb embossing folder. I don't know, spider web, cobweb, whatever, right? Okay, so, and I'll show you, I'm gonna show you the um, PDF tutorial. I'll flip through that um, when we move the camera down because it's easier to do it that way, I think, than like facing it up here because it's backwards too, right? So, okay, um, 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 ooh, oh, quick reminder. Hold on, I gotta get a sip of water too. I already can feel my throat getting, mm. It's gonna start being that time of year, right? Where I need my mints out because my throat's gonna be so dry. Um, okay, so quick reminder, we have um, the weekend retreat coming up on October 23rd through 25th. It's like a few weeks away now. I can't, it always feels like it's like, oh, it's going to be forever before it gets here. And the next thing you know, it's like, boom, it's here. So today is actually the last day to RSVP. If you are wanting to come to the weekend retreat, it's down in Lansing, um, right across from the Frandor Mall, which everybody loves, October 23rd through 25th. Okay, today's the last day. So get a hold of me if you want to get signed up. We can still get you in we still have room we are practicing good social distancing measures um, you know the tables will be spread apart wear masks like when you get up and walk around the room you don't need to wear a mask when you're sitting at your table and crafting um, and we'll just be you know keeping everything super clean too so that will keep everybody safe right so um, Oh, for embossing napkins, honestly, no, all you do, so Kathy, if you want to do that, just with your embossing folder, you just open it up, and instead of putting a piece of cardstock inside, just put, get one of like the little napkins, like a little, um, the cocktail napkin, and it should fit in here just about perfectly, um, or if it doesn't, just, you know, a lot of times it's kind of got like the edge, you know, like the corners, like the top and the side, maybe just don't put that in there and then just emboss like the inside part. Um, so yeah, super easy. Just basically put it in like you would a piece of paper and instead it's a napkin. So it's really fun. I've done that like years ago. Snowflakes are great too, like the snowflake embossing folder or even the tree one would be really pretty too, that evergreen. Oh, so many good ideas. Yay, I'm excited about it. I want to do that now too. So, okay, so hopefully that answered your question. But back to retreat. So today's the last day for the weekend retreat, October 23rd through 25th. And then we have the one-day retreat. It's coming up on Saturday, November 14th. Um, a couple Fridays from now, October 16 is the last day to RSVP and get a free gift in your goodie bag as long as you RSVP and prepay by the 16th. And then final RSVPs for the one day retreat are due on Friday, um, October 30th, okay? Um, so that'll be coming up in a little bit. We'll be talking about that throughout October, that one day retreat. Again, it's a one day retreat here in Alma on Saturday, November 14th. So let me know if you have any questions on that. I've been emailing. So if you're on my email list, you every month you've been getting an email about those and I'm ramping it up now to make sure everybody knows. I'm sure you got one today actually saying today's the last day to RSVP for the weekend retreat. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's see what else. What else? I've got like other little notes around here and I'm trying to. <laughs> it's fun, Kathy. You will enjoy it. And everyone that uses your napkins will think you're so crafty too, <laughs> which we are, right? We're so crafty. Oh, fun. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think we are almost ready to turn the camera down. I um, have to show you guys. I didn't like I'm not up very far, but I can kind of, can you kind of see my shirt? It's a um, Sun Studio from Memphis t-shirt. So, hey, Tammy, how are you? So I went down to Memphis last weekend. That's why I was not on Facebook Live because I left Wednesday and didn't come back until Monday. So there really, it wasn't even like I could like, I didn't even have time because I did my customer appreciation event Tuesday night up until like, 10 o'clock, I think we finally got everything cleaned up and got home, put orders in, and then got up the next morning and went to Memphis. Because I've been thinking, like, on the Fridays that I can't do a Facebook Live on Friday, I'm going to try to do it, like, on Thursday or something instead, since so I don't miss quite so many. Um, but this one, I was, I was just gone too long, so I couldn't. But I went to the Sun Studio, right? So this awesome, this is where... Elvis got his start in Memphis, right? You guys probably all heard this. I didn't make it to Graceland. Hopefully I'll do that maybe on the next trip. Um, but I got to go to a tour of the Sun Studio, which was awesome. Stood in like the record, same recording studio where Elvis recorded his first 
um, records, right? Like the first couple records and many, many other famous people. Honestly, they gave us so many names of people that have recorded there. And what's really cool is like, it was kind of closed down for a number of years and then um, it's been reopened and made into the museum. But they actually have um, like true like recording session time in the evenings there. So that's open during the day for the um, tours. And then at night, actually like real live musicians come in and record in there. And it's just kind of one of those hallowed ground kind of places that it's like good juju, good, whatever, you know, like people love to record in there because so many famous people have been in there recording as well. So it was very cool. I would highly recommend if you ever get to Memphis to go to the Sun Studio and do a tour because it's like 30 minutes long too. Um, but really, a really good tour, very um, informational and they were super, um, like enthusiastic. I think probably everyone that does the tours, they're musicians as well. So they're super into what they're telling you about too. So it was fun. Okay. So we're going to turn the camera down. I'm going to find my grid paper and so on. And there's my host code too. So, okay. Turn your heads away, flying through the air. Hey, Tammy. <laughs> hello. Hello. Okay. So we're going to flip the camera down. Okay, hopefully we're all set here. Flip. Okay. It's weird, the screen looks... Okay, I think we're all right. Oops, I don't know what I did. So this is our new host code for October, the Y-E-D-V-S-D-Q-H, okay? So that's the code that you're going to want to use um, all month long when you order online through me um, to get the freebies with your order. Let's see, we're going to move this over just a little bit, okay? So um, when I say freebies, let's just do that quick review. $30 order, get your name in the drawing for the cobweb embossing folder, right? You're going to get the projects I'm going to demonstrate. If you bump your order up to $50, you can also pick from, oh, maybe I'll zoom in. You can see them a little bit better. The Wonderful Gems. So they are um, like kind of a champagne shimmery mist on them, right? Um, so kind of a clear with champagne mist and then um, a red with a champagne mist. So they're super sparkly, right? So you could pick this for you with your $50 order or the, oh, that says September. I grabbed the wrong one. Here, here's the October one. The October Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. So pick either one, the tutorial or the embellishments. And let's do a quick flip so you guys can kind of see. So this is 16 project tutorial. My project in, is in here along with 15 other demonstrators. So we'll just do a quick so you can kind of see. This is the idea with these tutorials, right? So it gives you step by step, gives you picture. If you need more pictures, um, it shows you that too. So um, dimensions, colors, everything that you need to know to make these projects. That's my project, right? there. It was funny. I was like, what did I even make? We This was supposed to be like a fall theme, which you can see lots of beautiful fall projects on here, right? So awesome, 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 right? So for you with a $50 order, the October tutorial bundle or the um, embellishments, okay? All righty. What else are we going to do? I think we're ready to stamp, okay? I need to grab my grid paper right here. Let's get this out of the way also. Okay, so there's our host code. I'll try to kind of keep that in. Let's see. This always helps me, kind of. <laughs> nah, we're gonna move this up because I wanna know, are we in view? I'll bring that host code back in, but it's always on my blog too, at gathering inspiration with a K.com. Okay, need some more water? Okay. So we are going to do a couple of fun projects with this tag buffet stamp set. So I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see this better, right? Love the fonts, that to and from. I cannot wait to use that, the imagery, and then that fun sentiment too. So, okay, let me show you our first project. So we have this, and it's also featuring that... What is that called? The trimming the town. Because I love, this color combination is like a favorite for me. So it's Old Olive, um, Poppy Parade, and Misty Moonlight. Miss Teresa, welcome. Glad you can be here with us. So we did some fun coloring with our blends. I love the ribbon too. So this is the trimming the town, I think, ribbon. Um, I'd have to look that up to be sure. Is that what it's called? 
Now I'm gonna check, you guys all know the index, right? I've been loving, this has been so handy. The combo, yes, the all the trimmings ribbon combo pack. So it comes in this old olive and then also Poppy Parade that we are gonna use on the next card too. So I'll show you that in a few minutes. Okay, so let me get all of these things out that we need. We're gonna use our blends. So here's the ribbon too, you can kind of see. I'll show you the red too. So this is the one. Oops, we're going to use this on the other card. It's so pretty. It's like glittery, right? So Poppy Parade, um, Old Olive, and then it's kind of like a gold trim on the edge. Can you see? It's super, it's beautiful, super sparkly. I love working with this ribbon. Okay, so put that one back. That's on our next card. We're going to use that one right there, right? Okay. Okay, so let me tell you guys some dimensions. First of all, right, so we have our Misty Moonlight card base. We're going to scoot him over here because he's in my way. Oh, this is not, oh, I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> it's not in English. No, it's upside down, Amy. That's all. There we go. Now I can read. <laughs> it was there. All right, so our Misty Moonlight card stock right along the 11 inch side we cut it at five and a half inches and then the, along the eight and a half inch side we scored it at four and a quarter inches right okay then we have these pieces of the poppy parade whisper white and then the designer series paper okay so let me just make sure yep that's that one right there so this poppy parade piece measures three and a half by four and three quarters okay then this one is a quarter of an inch smaller at three and one quarter by four and a half. So that's gonna layer right on there. And then our piece of designer series paper that measures two inches by five and a half inches. And then I've just got some more scraps of Poppy Parade and Whisper White to do our stamping and our die cutting, okay? So let's actually die cut this circle. We're gonna use the stitched shape dies. So this is the largest circle in the stitched shape dies. So let's do that because then we are all done we only have that one piece we need to die cut this time. So let's do that. Everything else is actually a little bit of fussy cutting, um, which is fun to do every once in a while, right? So we have the new stamp and cut and emboss machine. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have finally, I got my magnetic sheet or platform, okay? So you use platform number one, you see right there, um, you use, it's like, oh, it kind of stuck on there. You use platform number two and then platform number five, which is the magnetic, okay? So that's like kind of your sandwich, if you will. Then you put your paper and your die down. And again, this is magnetic, so it holds that piece in place. And then you um, use plate number three, just one of them, because that other kind of the skinny little shim piece and the magnetic um, plate kind of take the place of the other one of these, okay? So, but look at that, makes a beautiful cut, right? Kind of holds right on there. There we go, we got our stitching. So that's all we need for this guy. So let's, we're gonna scoot this there. Go back that way. Okay, scoot that new stamp and cut and emboss machine out of the way. Let's do our stamping next. So I actually used Mossy Meadow ink. I need another sip of water. Mm. It's definitely mint season now for sure. Okay, so we are going to stamp. Actually, I'm going to, because I have a very fresh new piece of grid paper, so I'm going to slip in this little piece because I'm going to stamp off the edge a little bit because I've got this huge sentiment, and all I want are the bottom three lines of it, and we're going to kind of fussy cut these out. Um, I think this is going to be fine, right? So we're going to stamp that right on there. So all I want is the wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness. So we're going to kind of cut that part off, and we're going to make little strips out of that, right? Then... And this is kind of tricky, right? We are gonna use our Mossy Meadow ink and I'm gonna stamp, instead of Memento, I'm gonna use Mossy Meadow ink to stamp the ornament and then I'm gonna use my blends in Poppy Parade and Old Olive to color that in. But we're gonna let that kind of set aside for just a little bit. I don't think things will smear, it did not the last time. 
I really like that look. Instead of using uh, black ink on this and then coloring, using that Mossy Meadow ink and coloring that way instead. So in the meantime, let's just get these guys out of the way. We are going to start our fussy cutting. So I'm gonna grab my scissors too. And so super simple. We're just gonna kind of cut these little strips, right? So we're gonna do, and it doesn't even matter if it's perfect, right? We're just gonna kind of trim right through here. You really barely can even tell. Hello, D. Mason, how are you? Oops, I wanna do that one a little bit smaller. There we go. And then I'm just gonna trim the edges a bit. So you wanna keep them, well, keep them so you can find them, first of all, right? And I'm trying to kind of keep the width um, so they're not super skinny, excuse me, throwing that all over the place, um, because I'm gonna put these on dimensionals too. So I wanna use the little mini dimensionals there. So let's find those. We'll put those right in here so then I don't lose these little strips that I have worked so hard to cut, right? Okay, so we've got one there. One there, I'm gonna do two on each of them. I'm trying to kind of turn them so the straight edge goes along. That one there, okay, and then we've got one more along there. So I don't know, have you guys been to Memphis before? I had never been um, ate some amazing food, barbecue for sure, fried chicken for sure, um, lots of just great restaurants. And then the music, um, they are, you know, people are out and about um, down in Tennessee. They are checking your temperature everywhere you go and um, having you write your name so they know, um, you know, that you were there in case there is any issue that you, you have to give your name and your phone number. Um, for that kind of contact tracing. Um, but we saw, I think we watched or listened to live music every day but one that I was there, which was so awesome. I haven't been out to do that. You know, at least here in Michigan, they're not doing a lot of that. You know, they're practicing good social distancing measures, um, but people are still out and about and kind of enjoying things. So it was very, very fun. Oh, you did see Graceland. That's awesome, Teresa. I am hoping, so we just ran out of time. Um, you know, there's so many things to do, but then now I have a good excuse to go back. So we will do, I'll do that next trip, maybe. Okay, so I'm using, this is my dark old olive marker, and then I used my light old olive marker, okay? And then I'm gonna go back in, and now I've got my Poppy Parade. And I'm gonna just color this in, All right? So we got down to Beale Street two times, actually, um, which was kind of fun. That's the famous, you know, the blues um, originated kind of in that area, I believe. I don't know for sure. I'm not really good with like the history and the details. I did get to the National Civil Rights Museum where um, Martin Luther King Jr was assassinated at the Lorraine Hotel. It is actually, the um, Civil Rights Museum is kind of attached right to it, which was very cool. Um, you go through the whole museum and then you actually end up kind of um, outside of the room where he was assassinated. Well, he wasn't assassinated in the room, but on the balcony. So I'm just kind of coloring again with my light and dark and I'm gonna kind of shade this in a little bit. Um, but it was it was a fascinating museum. I would highly recommend getting there as well if you get to Graceland. So hello, Amy and Debbie. Glad you guys can be here with us. Okay, so we're just kind of coloring that back in. I want to darken up this just a little bit more. So we're going to kind of just circle through here, kind of give a little bit more shading. You can play with this as much as you want, have as much fun as you would like with your coloring there. Uh, I want the bulb top. Color that in one more time. There we go. Okay. All right. That looks good there. Oh, actually, no. I want to do one more. So I kind of did the outside. I kind of I want to blend the lines between the light and the dark one more time. You might not be able to see it, but I, I can a little bit. Okay. All right. So here, now we are going to do our super quick fussy cutting. 
around this piece and you can see I did keep this down here too because you want to make sure you have um, at least a layer of work surface um, when you are coloring with your Stampin' Blends so they don't bleed through onto a table that you would hate to be um, um, you know you don't want to ruin that sorry I just got another text I think there's another friend that wants to come to the weekend retreat so that's very exciting I had to pause for a sec there as that popped up on my screen sorry you probably didn't even really realize that right as I'm just snipping away here so you can see paper snips if you do not have these yet these are your best friend in the paper crafting world miss Kim hello welcome Glad you guys can be here. I'm hearing lots, hearing and seeing lots of new names that I don't normally see pop up, which is awesome. Thank you so much for all being a part of today. Okay, so yeah, I just threw that over here. We're gonna actually put some dimensionals on this. So you can see just a little bit of detail, but how pretty that ornament is too, when you can kind of color it in, right? Okay, so let's start putting things together. I think we are ready to do that, right? Okay, so we're gonna do, it's all still in view? Yes, okay. So we're gonna, I brought this over, that was why. It's the easiest way to kind of get this rolling again if your stamp and seal um, kind of loses its adhesive track. Just run it on this piece. Your, what is that called? silicone mat if you kind of run it on there it kind of helps get the adhesive rolling again so we're just going to put those two pieces right on there and then we're going to add our designer series paper use quite a bit of adhesive because it's kind of going over these couple of layers and i want to make it stick really well okay so we're gonna oh you know what man i thought about that, um, I almost, I was afraid I was gonna do it when I was um, designing this card originally because I wanted the, um, okay, let's see if we can get this. So this is my screw up, but that's all right. That's how we learn, right? Okay, so I shouldn't have put this down until after I tied my bow, but that's how that goes today. That's all right. So we're gonna use this gorgeous ribbon to make our bow. Sorry, everything's like woo, winging all over the place, but I think we're still in view, right? That's the main thing that you guys can still see what's going on here. Okay, and sometimes with these bows, I have to do them a couple times, but we'll see. See if I got that all right or not. I know I want it down further because I need to have room for my circle. And you know what? There's something about that curl that bugs me. So let's see if we can... If we pull that that way and this this way and then this underneath there we go it's almost harder um, you know usually I tell you to not cut your ribbon off the bolt which I didn't until I made sure I had enough um, but sometimes it is easier to work with when it's not on the bolt of ribbon I have found so I think that's good right there we could play with this forever right I'm kind of a bow freak okay there we're good all right so now ooh, that sun it's beautiful today we've had weird weather here in michigan the past couple of days um it's been like sunny like this and then it will start like pouring and hailing <laughs> and just thunderstorming and craziness and then it will be nice again so it's been weird 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 okay so now we're just gonna peel the um the dimensionals off of that and we're gonna put him maybe right about there. And now we just have to make sure I put these in the right order. So wishing you is the first one. And then lots of love, joy, and happiness. Okay, so we gotta put that in the right order, right? So we've got wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness. And what happened there? It's like the dimensional backing got underneath or something, but I think we're good. And then that one, right? Maybe we gotta go over a little bit more so it's not falling off the edge of the card. There we go. Okay, 
Now, last step, I always have to add a little bit of bling. There's just something about the bling that is so fun. So we have, these are the holiday rhinestones, basically in a blue, well, a light blue, a green, a red, and kind of an orangey yellow. Love the colors. Me too, Philomena. I, yeah, there's something about this color combo that I really enjoy as well. I think it's just kind of the fun, bright, bold colors. So we're gonna put a couple of those on there and fluff that bow up a little bit more. And there is our first card in that huge glare. Isn't that beautiful? Wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness. It's the paper too. I love the paper. I love the stamp set. Love the sentiments in the stamp set too. So there is our first project. And let me show you in just a moment what we're gonna make next, ladies. Let's just get this stuff. I'm trying to be, okay, there, are we back? I think we're in view well enough, right? Okay. Ah, hi, Tammy. Okay, you have a great weekend as well. Hopefully you're doing something fun this weekend, right? Or maybe working, who knows, huh? Okay, so here we go with our next project. So this one is super simple, but I really, this paper is just so cute. I had to feature this. Why do I keep forgetting the name of it too? The Trimming of the Town Designer Series Paper. And you know what? Let me just back up because again, that paper, I'll show you on here too, is part of the sale, right? So again, the artistry blooms, tis the season, forever greenery, points out of place, trimming the town, that is that paper right there, and then the plaid tidings that I've used a ton. Actually, I've used almost all of these a ton. I haven't used points set a place yet because I've just kind of gotten it. It's beautiful and I cannot wait to use it. Oh, Barb, you're wondering about that DSP. It is called the Trimming the Town Designer Series Paper. That's what this one is. And it's also on this card too. Yep, so trimming the town, it's on both of those. Okay, I think I have to move, this glare is bugging me. Here we go, the fall sun, there we go, <laughs> yes, um, both of them. So Barb, both of these, I think that's what you're asking me. This paper and this paper are both from the trimming the town designer series paper that is on sale right now, okay? And then also, just flip to remind you guys. So here are all of the others. Twall Tidings, Peony Garden, Whale of a Time, Heartwarming Hugs, Magic in the Night, Snowflake Splendor, In Good Taste, Playing with Patterns, and Playful Pets. All of those are 15% off. Okay, <clears throat> so here, our next project. Like I said, I kept it pretty simple because I really wanted to just showcase the designer series paper. And then we did some fun on the inside um, just to, you know, kind of give you some other ideas of things to do on the inside. So I'll show you that in just a moment. But I'm going to give you dimensions first. So this time we started with, this is an old olive piece of cardstock, okay? So along the 11 inside, we cut it at five and a half, and then along the eight and a half inside, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, there's our card base, right? Then we have a piece of, scoot that over there. So we've got our Poppy Parade cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then the super cute, the trimming, the town designer series paper. Isn't it so, I love, it's just so cute, right? with some stripey on the back, okay? So this one measures, this one's just a tiny bit smaller at three and seven eighths by five and one eighth, okay? So you just see that poppy parade just a little bit peeking out behind. Then on, oh, I guess I have to show you. So on the inside, this is what we did. We had some fun kind of decorating. So our whisper white piece, that is this one right here again, this one measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then we have just that little strip of designer series paper we're gonna put down along the bottom that is one inch by four inches, okay? So that goes right along there and then we're gonna do some stamping. And then we've got just this little piece of Whisper White cardstock to do our sentiment, the tis the season. <coughs> okay. Mm. So let's do our stamping first so we can do our die cutting. Actually, we'll do our stamping on this one too. Okay, all right, do I have everything all arranged all over the place? Probably not, but we shall see. Okay, so that's the inside. So we're gonna use Poppy Parade for our Tis the Season. So let's stamp this one. Okay, that's just gonna go right there and then we're gonna die cut that. 
in a moment, so I'm gonna scoot that out of the way. Okay, then on the inside, I like this sentiment, with love for you. Okay, so we are gonna stamp that one right there. And then the little sprigs, we're gonna do these in Old Olive. So I did one there and maybe one there. And then I was like, okay, it needs a little something else. So I grabbed the berries and just did these three little berries. Kind of line them up right there. And that's so cute. Just add a little something fun on the inside there. Um, yeah, I think it was a couple of Jamie and I'm trying to remember who else, birthday cards that I received and they had decorated the inside so nicely. And I was like, I have got to do that. I, I don't think about doing that enough. So, all right, let's just add this piece right here on the inside right now, because I'm afraid I'll move it somewhere and not be able to find it. So there we go, there's that, okay? Now let's do our die cutting on our sentiment. Super simple, like I said, there's nothing too difficult about this, but you really, you know, sometimes it's just all about the designer series paper and the stamp set too, right? The stamping is cute. Hello, Alice, glad you can be here with us. Okay, so we've got the Tis the Season, and I am using the Tasteful Labels dies. We're going to use just that little guy right there. And Lily's here. Hi, Lily. She's late. I forgot, actually. She usually gets out of school much earlier. What you been doing, Lil? Oh, she goes, eh. She's going to be super silent. Okay, well, you know, one of these days she's going to come join me on this Facebook Live, maybe even like make a project with us. Right, Lil? Ha, ha, ha. We'll see about that. Okay, so we just pop that right out right there. Tis the season. Okay. All right, she thinks she's sneaking by. I know, I love the font on it too, Philomena. It's a beautiful one. Okay, I'm going to scoot that out of the way. And we can finish putting things together. Okay, so let's see. So this time I'm going to remember not to put this on my card front until after I wrap my ribbon around. So we're going to do that. Oops, let's see. Here we go. We got that right there. Okay, so now got lots of this ribbon. Love, look at this sparkly, beautiful ness of this ribbon, right? So this is another one. It's almost like I have to tie it and then redo it. It's, it's like it curls. I don't know. See how it's all curly? I don't know how I make that not happen. Once I take it off the bolt, it seems like it doesn't, there, that's a little bit better, right? Okay, so maybe we'll get that. And we'll slide it down to where we want it when we are done making our bow. Okay, there's that and that. And let's grab our scissors. I'm gonna snip that off. Love that ribbon. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's a little bit upside down, isn't it? I wonder if I can, can I get it to flip? Do, do, do. Okay, then you start pulling with pulling on it and it um <laughs> kind of goes all over the place. I want it maybe down right about there, I would say, right? Okay, I'm already I'm pulling on it some more. So this is one when you pull on it, then you do have to kind of like re-tighten it again. There. Okay, all right, now we can add this piece to our card front. Okay. Oh, look at the houses. This paper just makes me so happy. There's something just so um, fun about it. Just, yeah, just makes you happy, right? Okay, so here we go. We're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. I always like to put, oops, those aren't cut quite as well as they should be. So when you're running across a piece of ribbon like that, I like to put four of them on here because otherwise if I just do two and two somehow inevitably it's on the ribbon and then it's still kind of wobbly or something and that kind of bugs me so let me put that right about there and then we'll put these guys on the inside right this is our inside piece so you can see right these this is the whole simple stamping doesn't have to be complicated just find a cute stamp set um, a cute pack of paper that coordinates nicely I need to trim that guy off just a little bit and maybe a little bit of bling, right? So we're gonna use, I love these, the dark, it's almost like a knight of navy. 
these little gems here again on the holiday rhinestones just needed to add a little a little more sparkle so we just put a couple of those little babies right down there and there we go so what do you guys think isn't that a cute card too so every piece of paper you know that you cut depending on where you cut it, it's going to look a little bit different but i love so super duper cute the trimming the town designer series paper along with the where's my stamp set right here with our product of the week the tag buffet stamp set right <clears throat> so here's the other card too so okay we'll pull this back into view right so there's our host code so quick recap use this host code to order any of the products that you need to make these super cute projects right the y e d v s d q h use that host code order at least thirty dollars you will get one of each of these cards as a thank you from me your name will go in the drawing to win the cobwebs 3d embossing folder and if you bump your order up to fifty dollars you can also pick from either our free embellishment the wonderful gems or the october demo design dream team pdf tutorial so thank you guys so much for watching today it was so fun to be back and be creating with you guys and i hope you enjoyed these cards as much as i did and we will see you guys next friday i'll be back here right here next friday at 11:30 a.m eastern time so have a great day have a great weekend bye everybody